My name is London Adams, and I am a junior at Millard South. This poem is called Sugar-Coated Strawberries Haven't Tasted the Same Ever Since You Left. Instead of a funeral, we built a bonfire in your backyard. We collected broken tree branches that bent in the crisp wind. Rusty leaves crunched between knuckles. Brisk autumn air ran across wrinkled skin. We watched embers glow, flickering in the sunset. Your favorite Sean Mullins album serenaded us. The rasp in his echo soothed me, but didn't cure the memory of you belting the lyrics on the way to the grocery store. I heard your voice from the trees singing along with us as every white t-shirt you chemoed in burned to ashes. My body comprehended it like a whisper. When my mom woke me to tell me you were gone, I didn't shudder. My eyes didn't squint at the light shining from the bathroom. My knees didn't tremble. My arms didn't search for a warm embrace of condolence. My lungs didn't wait to inhale air that you no longer breathe. I anticipated salty cheeks, sweaty palms, burning eyes, but I was still. I'd never felt nothing at all, but everything all at once. I watched the clock tick in a circle nine times while I learned that you had stage four ovarian cancer and a year to live. I'd heard of cancer, but I'd never seen it before. I saw it in the gray strands I found laying in your pillow. In the days you slept for 16 hours, in the pill bottles cluttering your kitchen stove, and the amount of times that we held hands, in the painful groans I heard coming from your room at 3 a.m. That Easter, your hair just started thinning. We cut the green tops off Driscoll strawberries on your splintered wooden porch. The sandy cloth chairs supported our figures as we admired the radiant Kentucky sun that shined through the misty clouds that drizzled. We dipped the ripe berries in sugar sweet juices seeped from the corners of my lips, dripping down my chin, tart sensations on my tongue. The doctor came in with her white lab coat and a masked smile. My mom's soft gaze asked me to leave. You told me I could stay. I stared at the vanishing beige walls, fiddling my fingers. I avoided your blank face and the pale gown that swallowed you whole, not wanting to look into your eyes. White flurries clothed the streets and frozen branches glistened in the moonlight, ready for departure. We danced barefoot around empty boxes of cheese pizza with Sugarland on the stereo. Uncoordinated elbows swung, brushing concrete walls, toes twisted in wiry carpet. Our bodies had no destination. My blonde hair flung into eyelashes. Your thick hair was stiff. I reached across the counter, turned the volume all the way up. 